Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new iPhone 4. So I stood in line again at the Cherry Creek Mall in Denver, Colorado for the new iPhone. There were two lines, the reservation line and the walk-in line. The reservations line was at least 200, maybe 250 people long at the time that the store opened at 7 a.m. and the walk-ins line was probably even longer. Still, I got into the store only about 15 minutes later, only took a few minutes for activation and I was home shortly thereafter. As usual, the employees showed all their enthusiasm there and turned it into kind of a festive atmosphere and everybody was talking with everybody else in line. Activation seemed to go smoothly. I had no problems at all using an existing AT&T account and simply upgrading from a 3GS to the iPhone 4. So here's a look at the phone itself. You can see it's got a flat front and back and it's got the curves just around the corners here. It's got two separate buttons for the volume control. The lock switches before. At the top, it's got a headphone jack and the regular sleep-awake switch. At the bottom, the dock and two speakers. On the front, next to the earphone speaker, you've got a front-facing camera. And on the back, you've got the main camera and a small LED flash as well. So the band outside of the iPhone around the edges acts as an antenna. So you have basically an external antenna. Now one of the problems people have been facing in these first couple days here is that if you grab the phone like you would talk with the bottom left corner firmly in the palm of your hand, you basically lose reception and can drop calls that's been reported. And I can experience right now, I'll show you, the bars are going to drop down from five bars to, you can see it dropped down to four and three, and it'll go down to two bars right there, just from cupping it like that. And as I let go, it'll actually go back up. So something about touching that bottom left hand corner hurts reception. It's gonna be interesting to see what Apple has to say about this. Another thing to compare is the screen. Now here is the iPhone 4. And let that come into focus here and you can see here's a picture that I took. Let's see how close we can get in on it. You can see that's the clarity of the new iPhone 4 screen. Here's that same photo shown on the 3GS screen and it's of course really hard to tell watching it on video here. But there definitely is more clarity on the iPhone 4 screen than on the 3GS. So another nice feature here is here is the camera and it's uh, going, it's a rear facing camera here. And on the screen, you notice that there's a camera rotate button. I'm gonna tap that and that will actually then use the front facing camera. So you can use both to take pictures. So I like the design. It is light and thin. It feels good in your hand while making a phone call or using it as an iPod. I'm going to be taking a closer look at features, specifically how well the cameras perform and of course FaceTime in future episodes. Hope you like this quick first look at the iPhone 4. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.